This will be the final video for the um, introduction to Photoshop project. In this one, we're just going to add some text to this and some other types of effects that you can do in Photoshop. Uh, it'll be different than when we added those adjustment layers. And this project's just kind of intended to show you a little bit of everything that Photoshop can do. So it's kind of a little bit of a sprinkling of everything. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to take our text tool. Uh, keyboard shortcut is T to get to this tool. And what we're going to do with this tool is we are going to click and let go whenever you want to use this tool. You don't want to click and drag because if I drag a box and it's too small and I try to type inside of this thing, nothing's going to show up. So I'm typing keys on my keyboard right now nothing's coming up. So that is the um, key with the text. Well, biggest mistake people make, they drag a box instead of just clicking and letting go. So again, T will get you to this tool. And what you want to do is you want to type out the person's name that you're working with. So I'm going to go ahead now and move this thing in my case. So I switch to the move tool which is V to change the size of this because I'm sure yours isn't quite as large as mine yet. If I'm on the text tool, I go back to the text tool and I have this layer selected, this text layer selected. The way you can tell a text layer it has a T instead of a picture of kind of what's in that layer. I can change it at the top. I can change the size. I can type in my own size and I can also use their drop down menu. So that's a little smaller than what I want. Maybe I'll go even a little bigger here. I'll type in a hundred. There we go. That's closer to what I'd want. As far as picking the color, again at the top or also in my properties window, if I have this layer selected, I can change the color in either spot. Something that Photoshop does that's neat when you are picking colors. If you're inside this box, same as it was in Illustrator. As soon as you move outside of this box, though, it automatically turns into the eyedropper. So for some reason, if I wanted the color to be the same color as his skin, I could do that. If I wanted to match his eyes or his lips or whatever or something on his uniform, I could do that. So you may want to take advantage of that on your project. Now, in my case, um, I don't. there's nothing really on here that I'm in love with as far as color to try to kind of make this match and accent. So I think I am going to pick a yellow like you saw in the beginning here. I'm just going to kind of play around with what shade of yellow I take. The effects that we're about to do are going to make this easier to read as well. So I'm not too concerned about that yet. Go maybe a little bit. I'll stick with that for now. And again, this is something I can come back and change, so I'm fine with that. All right, I'm going to switch to my move tool. I'm going to center mine. So the keyboard shortcut was V to get to this. It's also the top tool in my toolbar over here. So now I got that where I want. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding those effects to this text. I can add as many of these as I want or as few as I want. So to do them, if I double click on the layer, it brings up this option here. I could also get to this if I knew exactly which one I wanted by clicking this little FX button with this layer selected. It gives me a drop down list of all the different ones. So again, I'm going to double click on here. It pulls up this menu. And one that I think I'm going to want on mine for sure is going to be a stroke. I'm going to put a dark outline around this, just like we would do in Illustrator. Now, like we've seen in menus in the past in Illustrator, if you put a check right here, I added a stroke to this. This menu, though, is not for the stroke. This is still the blending options menu. What I need to do is instead of just putting a check here, I need to click over in this area. Now all these options are for the stroke. So say I want to make this thing wider or skinnier, I can do that. If I want to mess with the color, I can do that in here as well. So again, I'm going to take this color and in my case, maybe I'll make it like a black from his jersey. So you notice black isn't black. Like There's different shades of black almost. There's very dark grays we're looking at right now. So I'll stick with that. I'm liking that. Maybe a little bit thicker for that. I'm going to go at least two point here. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go a little bit thicker for that on mine. Now again, this is all dependent on your picture and what you think looks good. Now I can also add other effects at the same time. Maybe I want to try a bevel and emboss on this thing. So that kind of makes it look three dimensional. And again, with all of these, there's many, many options you can mess with. I could change it from an inner bevel to an outer bevel. So it's kind of like the outside of this thing that's growing. Um, you know, Again, there's a lot I can do. If I decide I don't want that effect, I can just uncheck it. Um, drop shadows are another one you'll use a lot. Those are nice. So let's see what a drop shadow looks like on here. You can barely see it. And sometimes those are the best effects are the ones that you don't really notice that much. They make a difference, but you don't really notice them. Now, in my case, I may even want to stick with the drop shadow. If you have dark text on a dark background, though, you might want to try an outer glow. Now, with an outer glow, what I can do 
is I could mess with the size and spread of this thing and turn down the opacity a whole bunch. So when you started, it might have looked something like that. But if I turn down this opacity, I can make it so that the text just a little bit kind of stands up off the background. I don't even notice that this effect is there, but it just kind of helps make it easier to read on a dark background. Now, because my background's lighter, I'm going to just kind of mess around with this drop shadow to kind of get the same effect. So I'm going to, again, just kind of mess around with some of these settings a little bit. And I'm not looking to make it real, real noticeable that this thing's there. I just want to make it easier to read my text and just add a little tiny bit of an effect to this. So I'm going to pull that distance back in a little bit. And I'm starting to like that. So again, the more you play around, the more you'll like what you have as you kind of mess around. So I'm liking just those two effects on mine. I hit OK. And if I ever want to go back and mess with these things, I can just double click on these brings me right back into that menu. I can also see what it would look like without these individual effects by clicking the eyeball on these effects. So I can do these effects to pictures as well. If I wanted to try this on my original picture, um, that would be kind of possible. Uh, text, that you obviously saw it works there. So for this project, that's where we'll be using as the text. But just know we can do those same effects to pictures as well. So this thing's kind of finished. We're all set.